This episode will cover some of my multi-line business telephones. I have covered certain aspects of this in other videos, but this is kind of a walk around of my 1A2 phone collection. I have a lot of videos on 1A2 systems, so I will, at the end of this video, show off the key system for a few seconds. I have over 200 business telephones. I will try to show as many of them as possible. This is my key system display room. However, I have phones in my single line display room as well as a few automatic electric phones that has yet to be put out on display. Again, this is only part of the system. I have approximately 60 key telephones throughout multiple buildings on my property connected to my 1A2 system. They're mostly Western Electric 2565 and 851, 852 type sets. I apologize about the lighting on the middle shelf. I have yet to acquire the LED strip lighting to light these phones up. That is something that is planned in the future. And for the call director folks, I have many different call directors and I still have a bunch more in storage that I have not put out. The blue 30 button phone is four wire capable and I have made videos showing some different control circuits such as a conference circuit, exclusion circuit and so forth. They're listed on my YouTube channel. Here's a 3B speakerphone call director. I made a video d displaying this phone connected to the 55 control unit. Here are some of my card dialer phones. When I was in high school, I bought the white, beige, and black rotary phones for $25 a piece, new old stock. The company had listed them in one of the trade magazines in 1982, I believe. I wished I would have bought everything he had. Here are some of the Touchomatic 32 sets. We have a Nortel set with their dialer. And then I have an ITT Corinth set. And then a Stromberg Carlson sets. And then two concentrator Western Electric 18 button sets. Here are some of the 2851 and 52 touch tone wall phones, the six button version, as well as some of the 10 button sets that's on the shelf below it.
a dialer with a red hotline phone, a Western Electric 2C1 panel pay phone, Western Electric 2D2 panel phone, and various types of Western Electric single slot pay phones. Here is one of several IDFs. This particular one is my call directors and the 6A. Very quick view of some of the wiring in the 1A2. This is the main MDF for my key system. I have other videos that show more detail of the 620 panels. Also, this shows you a quick brief overview of the length of the mainframe and the 66 blocks. I only have enough space for 200 pairs left to be terminated on this frame and I am completely out of block space. Here are some of the ComKey business telephones. I have made a video showing this system as well as some three line three hold a very bad idea whose time should have never came here's some of the 400 series 1a key telephones i plan on having them up and working soon i do have enough equipment to make four or five lines functional here's the equipment for the 1a key system Here's my messy workbench. I have several projects I'm working on. I would do a very quick walkthrough of my central office. I have not done this type of a walkthrough on any of my videos. I would just more or less walk around, so I apologize about the motion and the camera. The building was never intended to be set up for a video or walk around, anything like that. It's set up specifically as a central office would be. For those who have watched some of my other videos, you hear relays in the background where well, I will remove the can covers and you can see the relays that are making the noise that you hear in the background. This is in the 102 aisle and my workbench is uh, between the 101 aisle and the back of the building. Here is the interrupter that is driving those relays. The most right hand two cams is providing the interruptions. As well as the third cam from the right. Here is the back and step by step. This is a 600 line Western Electric step office. Here's the back of lineup 105. This is the North Electric CX100 central office switch. And I have a video describing this. Here is a number three crossbar switch made by Western Electric. There were only 28 of these manufactured and there are only two of them left in the United States. Here's the rear of the number three crossbar. More aisles of the number three crossbar switch. This used all mini CF type switches. Here's more of the number three crossbar, the back of the 109 lineup. Here's the last lineup of the crossbar. It has a solid state electronic ringing plant. However, I have that turned off and I'm using the step-by-step -step plant. 
due to the amount of money it costs to run this plant. I have two bays of 3CL trunks as well as several other trunks mounted in other bays. Here are some of my test boards. Presently I have several projects going on so I'm using the shelves to set stuff on. Here are some automatic electric step equipment. I have yet to actually make any of this operational. Hopefully someday I will. Here is the mainframe for the central office. All the step-by-step -step XY automatic electric and other things come over to this frame as well as tie pairs to the number three crossbar. Here's the Stromberg XY central office. It's a 200 line machine. There's more of the XY machine. Here's my batteries. These are not central office type batteries. I wish I had a real string of CO batteries, but I don't have the space. I should not be showing this, but this is some of my spare parts. Please do not contact me asking for parts. Here's a view from the other end of the number three crossbar machine. It's a 400 line switch. More of the number three crossbar, the master test frame is to the left. Here is some of the miscellaneous stuff for the office on the right hand side of the display. Here is some of the single frequency SF trunks that I have. This is the actual e-signaling unit. Here is a four channel OA carrier group for O carrier. I have two systems. We do have one of the systems operational. However, it's turned off at this point. Eventually it will have the SF circuits running over it, connected for incoming trunks to various parts of the switch office. This is a brief overview of some of the items I have. Please check out some of my other videos. This was recorded on November 16th, 2021.